Shalom, Israel. First, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. All praises due. Peace and salutations to the royal house of David. This is what it's all about. I know some of y'all out there uh, are cooking and eating. And we're doing the same thing over here. Uh, if you haven't any reservations, I just want you to know that, it's, that, it, that it is okay. All right. Um, scripture says in uh, Romans chapter 14 that some men esteem one day above the next and some men esteem one day all alike. We choose with a conscious choice to make this Yahweh Shai day. And we do this uh, uh, in remembrance, all right, of our son and brother who died for Israel to reunite the northern and southern kingdom. And this is the symbol, all right, that 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 we hold dear and will always hold dear throughout all eternity. All right. So anybody saying that we're worshiping Thanksgiving or we're uh, uplifting the murder of Native Americans, that's a damn lie. We're not upholding any of that. We're changing the meaning of this day because we are beginning now to destroy the idols out of the land. We have no respect or no love for any fucking Thanksgiving. This is Yahweh Shai Day. And every day that we celebrate, we're going to do this in remembrance of him. All right. So uh, we might as well show you the spread. All right. And uh, if you all like, you can... Uh, Send me what y'all cooking. We're going to show y'all what we're getting ready to eat on, all right? Shalom. What we got here? We got some roast. Uh, What is that? That's turkey. Turkey. All right, that's the turkey. All right? All right. We got, we got yellow corn with bacon. Pepper bacon at that. And black pepper. All right? We got fried cabbage. We got uh, dirty rice, and over there we got uh, cornbread dressing. Coming on around, what's this right here? That is the pork roast. This is cut up pork roast. That's the beef roast. Cut up beef roast. <laughs> I just lost the pork. And this is uh, my world famous. Look at that hat right there. Y'all see that? Y'all see that there? Do y'all see that there? All right. That's that 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 ham. That ham was marinated in Coca Cola for about two straight days. Okay, I'm Got my own private glaze on there. All right. And the mac, the mac and cheese. You wait. Was that deep enough? The mac and cheese. My voice don't go no deeper. All right. Uh, uh, we got that good mac and cheese going. So, uh, we are now going to, what else? You got something there? Some gravy. What I have to make. Well, what is it without gravy? Look at that there. Huh? Y'all see how brown that is? Now, we know you want to. Go ahead and show them. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Peace this and the chef. To the family. Peace and blessings. Finished. <clears throat> All right. Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring, the house of David, the elect, that's pushing this word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. I'm back with another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit of the Rakakwadash. And I just wanted to say this. All you pork eating niggas are going to utterly perish. All right. Let's grab this scripture. Total madness, man. Jeremiah 5 and 23. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 23. And it reads, it says, but this people have a revolting and rebellious heart. They are revolted and gone. And this is speaking about you Israelites, all right? These niggas are revolted and gone, man, okay? And this guy, this goofball nigga here, all right, is the flavor of the week, okay? Pushing this uh, this madness, all right? Talking about some Thanksgiving, all right? They rededicated Thanksgiving as, as Yahweh Shai's day, all right? And got fucking pork all over the table, man, right? And he's, and he's been justifying on, you know, pretty much how it's lawful to eat pork, 
All right, this nigga is out of his damn mind, man. Okay, and that's why I said you pork loving niggas. All right, you're gonna die, man. Your how about Shimmy I was shy is gonna get with you, niggas, man. Okay, because when when I saw the video, you know I thought this was like, I thought these niggas was trolling, man. But uh, uh but you can clearly see through the spirit, man. A lot of this shit is set up, man. All right, these niggas are not the uh, uh, men of the Lord. All right, these niggas are wicked. All right, and if you and you continue to indulge in that pork, the Lord is gonna kill your ass, man. And I want to bring this out real quick. Just had a few words. Okay, because brother's been going in on them in the spirit. So all you pork, all you swine loving niggas, you're going to utterly perish. All right. I remember seeing this article from, from a few months back. So this is from Newstarget.com. It says, jabbed swine. It says, how many Americans have been eating toxic spike protein particles for the past five years every time they consume pork and bacon. All right. So <laughs> this guy, he's definitely full of toxic uh, 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 waste and fucking and, and particles and, you know, bacteria and, 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 and worms and shit, man. All right. Just look at him. Anyway. Okay. So it says, if, if it's true that you are, if it's true that you are what you eat, then millions of Americans are walking, talking, ticking health time bombs full of toxic virus mimicking prions that were injected into pigs that they've been eating since 2018. Right. So all you Jake say, I can't leave the pork alone and the pork roast. I got to have my bacon. All right. Well, hey, look, you, you, you're full of all types of toxic spike proteins and parasites all right it says without telling consumers across america certain state governments and big pharma quote unquote have been injecting pigs with the i don't want to say it but you could read it all right for more than five years in other words swine has in other words swine have been juiced up with the very same foreign proteins that more than 50 million Americans are avoiding like the plague, or at least they thought they were, right? It says, Big Pharma is, is moving to inject beef and dairy cattle with the you-know-what technology, and many small to midnight mid-sized cow farmers are bucking the system. Who wants to eat tainted meat? Who knows if they... Who knows if they are right now has been for the or have been for the past five years. It says there's a good reason the FDA is not regulating this. And that's because the FDA played a key role in the you know what? The C Uno Nuebe fraud and manipulation of the public's perception. All right. So the bottom line is that what we're, we're focusing on here is this goddamn pork, this swine, man. All right. All you pork. Loving niggas are going to utterly perish, man. All right. And these these men are not the men of the Lord. First and foremost, man. OK, because they're not reading the scriptures and there's no way you can justify to the congregation to uh, 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 eat and swine, man. All right. As you see in the comments, brothers from all over the place are all over these niggas, man, with the scriptures, you know, condemning them. You know, and like the elder said, man. Right. Yeah. This is wicked. Repent. Right. And like the elder said, man, put curses up on these niggas, man. All right. This is completely wicked. All right. It's Isaiah 65 and two. And it reads, it says, I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people. Yeah. You two third niggas. All right. Because as we were talking about in the camp. Two thirds is going to consist of majority of niggas that know the Israelites. All right. Niggas and fringers, uh, nigg niggas and fringes, all right? It's going to make up a lot of these two-thirds, man. You see? I have spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people which walk in a way that was not good after their own thoughts, you see? And this guy, apparently he's been doing videos, you know, I guess so-called clapping back at us, all right, on trying to uh, uh, justify, you know, his, his whack-ass breakdowns on, on why you can eat the pork and the swine, man. Right. Let me get a quick scripture. Let's get that in. Um, 
<clears throat> Bear with me one second. Let's get that scripture. And Sirach. All right, Sirach 32 and 17. All right. This big fat goofy nigga is a complete bug out. All right. This is Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 32, verse 17. It says, A sinful man will not be reproved, but find of an excuse according to his will, right? And he's not taking none of the rebuke. <clears throat> they're not taking any other rebuke. All right. These, these niggas said they're going to do this every year, nonstop. All right. So a sinful man will not be re reproved. He won't be corrected, but find an excuse according to his will, according to his will, his mind, his thoughts. Right. And this is why we say all the time. Two thirds of you niggas got to go, man. Read this again, Isaiah 65 and 2. I've spread out my hands all day unto a rebellious people which walketh in a way that was not good. After their own thoughts, see? A people that provoke, a people that provoketh me to anger continually to my face, that sacrifice in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of bricks. Which remain among the graves and lodge in monuments, which eats, which eat swine's flesh and broth abominable things in their vessels, as you saw in this video, man. All right. This nigga had pork in every goddamn thing. He had pork in the corn. <laughs> right. Pork in the goddamn corn, shredded pork. Talk about some. Yeah, this the ham that I had uh, uh, sitting in Coca-Cola for two days. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is crazy, man. Right? But the Lord, but 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 the truth be told, you how about Shima was shy is really about to get at you, you, you two-third bug out niggas, man. Alright? That's why we understand that the Lord told us that judgment was gonna start at the house of Israel first. Let's get that. Now you understand that. Alright, this is first Peter 4 and, and verse 17. Then it reads, it says, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. The house of God represents Israel. All right. If it first begin at us, right, meaning those that know they're Israelites. OK, if it first begin at us, which shall be the end? Which shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Shem Shai? And the Lord is going to get he going to get with these goofy niggas, man. All right. This big, goofy, proud ass nigga, man. All right. The Lord's going to come visit him. All right. You better believe that for pushing this madness, for putting this uh, this video out here on the YouTube, man. OK, this was this was madness. This was straight up abomination, man. And in the, in the ultimate disrespect to Yahweh by Shai, man. It says, let's read that again. Isaiah 65 and four, which remain among the graves and lodge in monuments which eat swine's flesh and, and broth abominable things in their vessels, which say, Stand by thyself, come not near to me, for I am holier than thou. These are a smoke in my nose and a fire that burneth all day. So basically, as we read, you, all you're doing is just continuously pissing the Lord off. Right? And then you got the nerve to put this, to put this video out here like you just righteous. All right? Trying to make this excuse on... on on telling the congregation on how you can eat pork, trying to justify yourself. All right. The Lord said, these are a smoke in my nose and a fire that burn up all day. The Lord is, is constantly pissed off at you two third niggas, man. It says, behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silence, but will, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. Your iniquities and, and the iniquities of your fathers together, say of the Lord, Yahweh Shema Washai, which have burned incense upon the mountains. And blasphemy upon the hills. See? Talking about some, you know, uh, we're not regarding Thanksgiving. This is Yahweh Shai Day. That's all bullshit, man. All right? And blasphemy upon the hills. Therefore, will I measure their formal work in, a, in their bosom. Right? Because the Lord is eventually about to start judging you niggas. We're in the time of judgment, man. And, and, and just for them to put this type of video out shows you that they have zero fear of the Lord, man whatsoever okay and the lord told us to not even touch that damn uh, uh swine man all right deuteronomy 14 and 8 it says in the swine because it divided the hoof yet chew of not the cud it is unclean unto you 
All right. He talking about some, you know, uh, um, that the, the swine was just unclean for sacrifice. No, the, the, the pork, the swine was unclean in general. All right. It says ye should not eat of their flesh. This is in the law. You should not eat of their flesh. So what is this nigga talking about, man? All right. Nor touch their dead carcass. So not only are you not supposed to eat of the swine. All right. You're not even supposed to touch of, of his carcass, of his dead carcass, man. All right. Showing you in the spirit that these niggas are in complete rebellion against Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. No way around it. It's Isaiah 66 and 17. It says, we'll start up at 16. Matter of fact, we'll start at 15. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, will come with fire and with his chariots like a, war, like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with, with flames of fire because the Lord is coming to judge the world. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah, shall be many. It's going to be a lot of niggas that's going to get put to death when Yahweh Shah returns. It says, verse 17, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shah. So you pork loving niggas are going to utterly perish, man. It's that serious, man. Okay? The Lord made the pork, the swine unclean for that very reason, man. Okay? So you niggas, are, you, you niggas out there that can't let the bacon go and all of that, you done for, man. All right? Let me just read that in the NLT. Okay, real quick. Isaiah 66 and 17 NLT, it says, Those who consecrate and purify themselves in the sacred garden with this idol in the center, feasting on pork and rats and other detestable meats will come to a terrible end, says the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. You niggas are getting ready to, to, to come to a terrible end. All you niggas in the truth, outside the truth, that's, that's touching and consuming this pork, the Lord is going to put you to death, man. Straight up and down, man. Okay, because all of this is just flat out disrespect and it's inexcusable, man. All right, the scriptures say what they say, but these guys, all right, as we read, they're 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 in that uh, uh that rebellious spirit. Okay, what you're looking at here is a damn two third man. Okay, and the spirit of Yahweh Shemuel Shah is not dealing with these royal house of Israel, whatever they call themselves, man. All right, straight up joke, man. You see, so I just wanted to bring that out, man. Just add my two cents in on, it, man. It's a wrap. All right. Don't follow these guys. Matter of fact, let me get this scripture too, man. This is why you got to have that discernment. Okay? It says, Malachi 3 and 18, Then you shall return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. So you got to have that discernment on who's really serving the Lord in truth and sincerity and who's not, man. All right? First John, the fourth chapter, told us what? All right? To try them. That call themselves prophets. Testing the spirits. First John 4, 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the most high, because many false prophets are gone out in the world. Exactly, man. Many false prophets are gone out in the world, man. And just because you hear a nigga saying the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, doesn't mean that he is of Yahweh Shem Shai. Just like the priest Amawan had stated. Okay, because the scriptures say in Romans. 9 and 6 Romans 9 and 6 not as though the word of the most high have taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel you see that everybody is not a part of the elect all right as many as many niggas that know the Israelites but that's it doesn't mean that they're part of the elect all right you got two-thirds in the midst man you see so that's pretty much it man all right you got to watch all these niggas out here as a bunch of bug outs and weirdos and false prophets popping up heavily in these last days, man. So this is how you know we're at the end. Pray this quick lesson was edifying. We're to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimawashah, Bashimakakwadash, and Shalom to the next one. Shalom.